goal oriented software measurement the name is suggesting there need to be a goal we are calling it as gqm g is for goal on the basis of goal there will be certain questions and on the basis of these questions the answer will tell you the metric so this gqm paradigm was developed by basili and others for identifying the meaningful metrics for software processes for software processes what will be a proper way for this software measurement now this gqm is emphasizing on what is your goal what is your explicit measure measurement goal that is specific to a process activity or a product characteristic then we will try to define certain question and that question need to be answered because these are to be answered in order to achieve the goal measurement goal and then we will identify well formulated matrix that will answer this question being formulated with respect to the measurement goal and then we'll make a goal definition template and that will be used to define each measurement goal so i'll tell you i'll show you that uh, global uh, this goal definition template just now but before that let us understand the what this means goal oriented software for example the goal is effective uh, effectiveness of a new programming tool we would like to evaluate it what is the effectiveness okay so it can be we were using some c and c++ now python has come now we would like to understand how this python is going to work in this scenario now the first question can come is who is using this tool x it can be python now the question can be say 100 coders are there 100 people are there 20 of them are coders 100 100 of them 20 are coders now experience of the coders some of them may have 5 years of experience some of them may have say 3 years of experience and you can say that the people who are not coding also they can also have experience right so this is the metric metric is coming from proportion of coders the experience of coders let me take one more question what is coder productivity if you want to use this tool what will be the code size how many line of codes a coder can write 100 or 1000 or say 10 only what are the function points we'll discuss about that just understand it is functions procedures or methods the next question can can be what is code quality if someone is writing in python how many defects will be produced what effort has to be put in this is how the matrix will come from the question being answered with respect to the goal which has been decided see here this is the goal so at the conceptual level measurement goals involve product processes or resources these are the goal then coming to the question at the operational levels question try to characterize the object of measurement in the context of a qualified issue from a particular viewpoint these all questions are for going to fulfill the goal and what is the answer these are matrix so these are at quantitative level these are associated with every question this is a set of data either subjective or objective that help us to give a number a quantitative number okay so this is gqm or goal question matrix gqm i told you that we'll make a template and that template will give you the actual scenario if you remember this is a safe home product which is employing a software now the the gqm when we apply here the template will answer like this let me tell you the template first analyze inside which we are going to give the name of the activity or the attribute to be measured for the purpose of inside this what we will give the overall objective of the analysis then we have with respect to 
what we are going to write here the aspect of the activity or attribute that is being considered analyze for the purpose of with respect to and then we will write from the viewpoint of what we are going to write here the people the stakeholder who have interest in this kind of measurement then in the context of that is the environment in which the measurement is, has to be done or measurement takes place so this is the template and for, for every question we are going to fill it so let us fill it and see what we can do because we have to start with the question the template will be fulfilled for example the template for safe home will be like this we need to analyze what the safe home software architecture for that we need certain metrics so the software architecture or software architecture is the overall structure of the software like how are the components how they are interfaced what will be the second one for the purpose of what we need to evaluate the architectural components because we have to answer the overall objective of the analysis because the name of the activity or attribute to be measured is software architecture and purpose is evaluation of architectural components and what is with respect to we need to write the aspect of the activity that is to be considered so with respect to here we will write the ability to make soft, safe home software or the the product more extensible from the viewpoint of who is going who is having interest the software engineers who are performing this work who are going to do this extension in the context of the environment in which measurement has to be take, taken so product enhancement over the say next 3 years or 5 years so this is how we make a template and fill it